here's how I did my battery relocation in this 89 Mustang LX notch not 100% finished but I'm getting there still have to drill a hole down in here oh, don't want to touch that that's the hold down bar the kit's about $89 on Amazon. You can get it in numerous places. Um, so I'm going to have to drill some holes down in here, two of them, and drop the tank or let it down a little bit. I'll just undo the straps. It should be able to get up under there. And then you'll have to cut these off to the proper height. So they give you some longer rods. They give you longer rods than you need. The vent tube right here. Flips right down through here if you want to. See that little hole that was already there, or just drop it down in here if you want to. Okay, the negative cable, put it right here. A lot of people put it under the car, they go down through this. Uh, the filler neck has a grommet right here, a rubber piece that you can slip some stuff down through. You can slip this uh, tube down through there if you wanted to. I like it right there but this is where I want it to go with it. It's easy to deal with, and it's grounding real good, and the car runs great. A lot of people go and uh, drop it down through there and, you know, attach it to the frame somehow. I won't need battery boxes out of the way. These old cables are out of the way. I'm walking around here. I also moved the, looks a mess in here, by the way everything works kind of rebuilt that dash or that cluster right there if you notice I fried this back piece on there so I ended up doing it this way I soldered each wire on there but it works took me a few minutes my dog lucky okay moving on up here this is one of the main reasons I moved the battery, other than uh, for weight distribution. Uh, I wanted to put my MSD right here. It's real short right here to the coil. So that's nice. Here's how I did my, uh, moved my solenoid over here. And uh, reason being, I have a one wire alternator. Get you one of these, this is something racing right here. 140 amp, and that, there's a little red cable down there. I don't think you can see. Yeah, you can barely see that red cable right there. And it sneaks right up through here, real short. Comes right here. Also, the starter, of course, is over here. So the starter wires, there's two of them going to the starter there. And they were real easy to deal with. I didn't do anything. I just disconnected them and pulled them up through this hole here and attached them. That's it, and then uh, my main cable right here. I went down through here. It's up under. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, you really can't see it, but I've attached it up under here. Still not completely done with it. I need to get some uh, some kind of fasteners, but in the time for the time being, this is where it is. I'm gonna have to t tuck this up under better. Get some fasteners. Drill drill a few holes under here. On that lip, there's a little lip under there you can attach it to. Okay, inside the car. Okay. Okay. There's a little, under your seat, there's a little uh, grommet right there. That's the way I chose to do it. Just cut a little hole in it. There's a positive cable. And that's it. I love it. Freed up a little space under the hood. Start it up. Battery's a little weak. Need to get a new battery, definitely. There it is. It's kind of odd over here, Timmy. Battery, of course, has always been here.
good. Still, still plenty to do on it. But I'm getting there. Sounds real sweet. And there you have it. Battery tray is mo uh, removed. These old lines are not used anymore, any longer. I moved the solenoid over to the uh, passenger side. You know, it's usually right over here. Tax working, everything's working. Oil pressure's way up there. Found the grommets I needed for this, uh, where the cables come through right here. Had them laying in the garage there. I started to go get some, but found these. Glad to have them. I'm going to flip this battery around this way. You know, the cables are going to come through this way. Negative cables just hooked right here. Running like a champ. Need to go get some antifreeze. 